macroscopic cross sections. Macroscopic cross section measure the probability of occurrence of a particular nuclear reaction. In only very simple cases, it's possible to get the theoretical expression of cross section. Thus, as usual, microscopic cross sections are experimentally measured. We will consider the following experiment the parallel monoenergetic beam of neutron intensity of I striking on the thin foil with area A centimeter squared contained N nuclear in unit of volume. It is obvious that the neutron interaction rate is proportional to intensity of neutron beam and complete number of atoms in a foil. The proportionality coefficient in this dependence is called the effective microscopic cross-section of interaction of neutrons with nuclei and designated by Greek lowercase sigma and expressed in the unit of bars where one bar is equal to 1 multiplied by 10 times minus 24 centimeters squared. Another interpretation of microscopic cross-section in terms of probability. Sigma is a collision probability of a neutron with a nucleus. As the probability is dimensionless, that to be concluded, sigma is the effective area given by the nucleus to an incident neutron for a nuclear reaction. Every nuclear reaction have the probability corresponding to their microscopic cross-section. So, microscopic cross-section of scattering is the sum of elastic and inelastic. Absorption is the sum of radioactive capture, fission, spallation, and adds. The total cross-section is the sum of absorption and scattering. I have to mention that the process of interaction of neutrons with the nuclear depends on energy of a neutron. Dependence of microscopic cross-section the quantitative characteristic of probability of nuclear reaction on energy carries difficult character. For a large number of isotopes, especially those whose mass number exceeds 100, the examination of the absorption cross-section variation, depending on the neutron energy, reveals the existence of three main regions. As the scattering cross-section are generally small, the total cross-section means absorption plus scattering show the same behavior as the absorption one. In the first place, there is a region of low energy in which the cross-section decreases with increasing energy of neutrons, as it depicted for uranium-38. The total cross-section varies in inverse proportion to the square root of the neutron energy, and as this energy of kinetic nature, the cross-section is inversely proportional to the speed of neutrons. After the 1 divided to V region, for slow neutron, there is a resonance region, which corresponds generally to neutron energy between 0.1 to 1000 electron volts. This region is characterized by the presence of several peaks corresponding to a certain value of neutron energy. This energy are related to excitation energy levels of the compound nucleus. Immediately after the resonance region, there may be some secondary peaks which are difficult to notice with the resolution of available instrumentation. The figure demonstrates the cross-section of the absorption and total for uranium-35. Elastic scattering with exception of hydrogen, those cross-section value is about 20 barns. When it's free state, scattering cross-section for low-energy neutrons of nearly all elements are between 2 and 10 barn. In most cases, scattering cross-section do not vary significant with neutron energy, although there may be a general tendency to decrease of the value in the region of high energy. The typical behavior of the elastic scattering cross-section is presented there. There are three distinct regions. The first, elastic scattering is almost constant. In this region, scattering does not occur with formation of compound nucleus. This type of scattering is called potential elastic scattering. The second called resonance region. The formation of compound nucleus takes place. The third, called high energy region, the resonance come together 
in such a way that cross section of the continuous behavior. The second and the third region is called resonant elastic scattering. You can examine the behavior of all cross section for all isotopes by using the Java based software Janis. You can type in Google the word Janis and free download the database. Macroscopic cross section. Define it as probability of incident neutron interacting with the target nucleus per unit length of travel of incident neutron. The macroscopic cross section is designated by Greek uppercase sigma and is expressed in units per centimeter travels of neutron in medium. To calculate the macroscopic cross section, you need nuclear density multiplied by microscopic cross section. At whole, microscopic cross section determines the property of a single nucleus in respect of interaction with nu neutrons. A macroscopic cross section determines the properties of whole medium in respect of interaction with neutrons. 